Hi Taurus, details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates. Leave what does not resonate for someone else. The reading is called Without You, so we're going to see how they're doing without you, the person on your mind. I'm going to start by pulling their hidden truth. I will be pulling you an oracle card, and then we'll be doing their sign at the end of the reading. So how is this person doing without Taurus in December? They think that you don't feel the same way they feel. Taurus, this is someone that has been very wishy-washy with you, okay? I feel like this is someone that kind of wants you one minute and then the next minute they're kind of hesitating. This, this is really a deep-rooted issue of theirs. So let me tell you what's going on here. I'm getting chills, actually, so... I feel like this is a very important message for a lot of you Tauruses out there. So there's someone here that has been rejected a lot in their life, okay? Before you met them, they had a pretty rough childhood, okay? Rough meaning like they always felt rejected. They always felt like the outcast. I do feel like this person, Taurus, um, may have grown out of that energy that they were in but they're still harboring that trauma. And this is someone that feels like, you know, you would eventually not want them anymore. And so that's why they're incredibly indecisive on whether or not they want to be in a commitment with you. This is someone that does fear you leaving them. They have a very strong fear of abandonment here. And that's why they're acting wishy-washy. That's why they're acting like they want you one minute and the next minute they don't. And it's not that they never not want you because they do want you. They're just afraid that your feelings are going to change. And in this current moment, Taurus, this person feels like you don't feel the same way they feel. It says they miss being with you and they're wondering if you're happy without them. And then it says, I still have feelings for you. This person's going to have feelings for you for quite a long time, if not the rest of their life. And I know that sounds very dramatic, but that's what I'm getting. And the reason why is because they're never going to get closure from the situation. I don't feel like they truly will unless they change this fear of rejection, unless they, you know, unless they change themselves from the inside here. Okay. I feel like this is, this is somebody here that is going to be harboring feelings for you for quite a long time. If not the rest of their life. If they don't come forward or if they don't get real honest with themselves here. Let's see what they're up to. Let's see. What is this person up to? Let's see if they're hiding anything. What are they up to right now? They're burdened. They're stressing out. Some of you guys, they could be in the process of moving or thinking about moving. They're definitely ending a situation here. What is the situation that's coming to a completion? Someone is real. Okay, so Taurus, this person does have this realization that they keep letting you down and they keep letting themselves down. And so I feel like they do want to put an end to that. They do want to put an end to this uh, disappointing. They just, I feel like someone keeps feeling like they're, they keep disappointing you and they keep disappointing themselves. And they're a little embarrassed. Like I'm getting like this person is hiding their face. There's a lot of shame here and embarrassment. Somebody does have a hard time owning up to the part they played. They have a hard time taking accountability. But they're hoping there's something still left. Like, I feel like this person is hoping that they haven't completely wiped your feelings for them away. Because of their games, Five of Swords. 
I feel like somebody here could be very, like, I'm, I'm getting like a manipulator with this Five of Swords, but this is really someone who, they have to win at all costs. It doesn't matter if they've hurt you or who they hurt. I feel like this is someone that's just interested in winning an argument or interested in winning in general. How are they doing without Taurus? Okay, we have you have a flyer. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Definitely feel caught in a web of lies. Or, you know, whether you've caught them or not, they're they're kind of like this is someone who is stuck in their web of lies. Like I feel like this is someone who lies to protect another lie to protect another lie and I'm just getting like someone has a lying problem for sure and so they kind of feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place because the truth is going to come out if they move and so they're feeling pretty insecure right now and burdened You're, uh, and Taurus, I have to say, you're finding it hard to let go of this person as well with the four of, four of Pentacles being in your energy. Some of you guys really thought or really tried to control the situation. I feel like you saw great potential in someone, so you may have really held on tightly to potential or... It's almost like you tried to force the situation is what Spirit's saying. Or you tried to control a situation... How do they feel about Taurus right now? They're questioning how you feel about them. So if someone feels Ten of Cups in reverse, someone feels like you're no longer invested in them. They feel like you're losing interest in them. What do they want to do about it? The full in reverse. That's Aries, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So it's like somebody here feels like they took you for granted with that full in reverse. So I feel like they want to start showing you that they care. Because when the full is upright, it's almost this energy of like not caring about what happens, just kind of doing whatever and letting whatever happen. The full in reverse, I feel this person wants to start showing like that they care about you. So I do see someone wanting to show that they care about you. Okay, how are they going to do that? Uh, the Empress, uh, Queen of Swords, listening to you more. I see this person communicating with you. If you're not communicating with them, Taurus. Three of Swords. The Empress, the Queen of Swords. This person's about to show a strong interest for you. For some of you guys, there could have been a Libra or a Taurus, another Taurus that was involved somehow. This is like third party energy. What about this third party energy? Knight of Swords. They're going to abandon the third party. So it's like, this is someone that's going to do what you wanted them to do all along, but it's now that you're separated, they're going to do it. Yeah, the devil, because they're fixated on you, Taurus. So it's like somebody couldn't act right when you two were together when they had the chance. But now that you're rejecting them or now that you're going to abandon the situation, now they want to get rid of the third party. Two of Pentacles. So they're second guessing their actions. The tower. They know they've created a mess. A lot of you guys, they were juggling. Okay. They were keeping their options open. We have this ace. I see a new love interest coming toward you, Taurus. So tell me about this new love interest real quick. Will of Fortune. 
So I'm actually getting positive changes in love for you, Taurus. There's, there's a new love interest that's wanting to pursue you. Okay, it could be a, another fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay, it could be any sign though. We have Leo, Capricorn. But I'm getting like, I see a new love interest wanting to attract you is what I'm getting. We have the Justice card. So if someone here wants to tell you the truth that has been lying to you, Eight of Swords, they, you know, and they feel stuck in this. They, they, they know the only way out is the truth, is to be completely honest with you. Why do they feel the Seven of Pentacles? The High Priestess, Pisces energy. So you could have been sh very short with this person or totally silent. And so that's really got them guessing. So I do see this person communicating with you because they get kind of tired of guessing where you stand with them. And so it's almost like this person goes from not showing you too much concern to showing you a lot of concern, showing you a lot of attention and a lot of affection. And so I feel like whoever you have not been speaking with or whoever you have been incredibly short with, this person is going to step up their game. Okay, Queen of Wands, the Fool. Yeah, someone's about to show you just how attractive you are. I'm also getting someone could have purposely tried to make you feel insecure in the past because that was just another one of their manipulation tactics. But now they're about to come in and there's going to be like a, a strong pursuit the chariot, okay, the, the knight of cups. Someone is about to pursue you very strong, but guess what? Five of swords, five of wands. It's just another game, Taurus. Like, I, I hate, I have to be completely honest with you. It's just another game. Like, this person is scared of losing you completely. And so just be, just expect to be pursued pretty heavily by this person who has been bringing stress and drama to your life. I'm also getting, I feel like you guys argued a lot. For some of you guys, there could have been a lot of arguing or just a lot of manipulation, okay? It's almost like even to get together, there was a lot of manipulation. The conversation is like always manipulative, okay? We got Cancerian energy, Aquarius, Pisces, but I see them wanting to pursue you in the month of December. I'm also even getting like an apology from this person. They're going to, like, I, I see someone telling you, to, like, they're going to be pouring out their heart to you for sure. Because this is their final, like, I'm getting, like, a last and final attempt. Because they're scared that you're no longer going to be with them. For some of you guys, they're aware of a new love interest of yours. Or they're just aware that, for, for a lot of you guys, they just feel like you have this great potential to meet someone new. And I'm getting, like, that's, that's scaring them into taking action. Let's see what card flew. It says surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. All right, Taurus, we're going to do their sign. So this is if you're dealing with this sign, Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries is not taking accountability, okay? I feel like the Aries, uh, is this going to be a missed opportunity with an Aries this week? If you're dealing with another Taurus, they want you. You're a wish of theirs. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini spies on you and wants to communicate. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer sees a future with you. They definitely want to reunite. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo's trying to go within. Okay, the Leo's trying to figure things out. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they really like you. This Virgo wants you. I see communication from a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra is hoping this isn't a missed opportunity, but due to someone's, uh, I'm getting like a player. This Libra is a player, and so it's going to be a missed opportunity right now. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want a new beginning. 
If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want your forgiveness. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I see a Capricorn moving toward you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they want a relationship, Ten of Cups. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces wants to tell you the truth. I see communication from a Pisces. All right, Taurus, those are your messages. If this gave you clarity, thank you guys so much for hitting the thumbs up button. And until next time, bye.